Hi, I'm Michael Braun and in this video I want to show you some creative hypertext or choose your own adventure activities that you can do with Google Forms. Now the reason why I think this is so important for the classroom is because at the core of these activities is the big question, what if? And this question leads to higher order thinking because your students are constantly evaluating and analyzing different options and it leads to deeper learning because your students are going to be creating cognitive maps or cognitive networks. And the reason for that is they create non-linear plots. What's that? It starts off with section one, the beginning, and I give my reader now three choices. Depending on the reader's interest, the reader ends up in section two, section three, or section four. And now it depends on how adventurous you are, how adventurous your students are, how many options you want to give your readers. But my example looks something like this. You can see I have three different endings. Each of my sections has, I would say, at least two options. So it's up to the reader how to proceed through my story or through my creation. And while creating this, your students have to be thinking about the plausibility of these options. They have to think about cause and effect. So once you're happy with your plan, you're now ready to replicate the structure in Google Forms. And you do that by adding as many sections in Google Forms as you have in your plan. So in my case, I think I had 10 sections. Right now I have eight. So I click on the um, add section button. Let's see, I'll add some over here. I click on add section and that way I will add two more. Now I have 10. It's important that you label the sections correctly so that you don't get confused. So my first one was called the beginning. And now I select the beginning. I can now add a picture or a video, or if I want to add a story, title and description. And the most important part is now the question. So I click on the plus to add a question. It's going to be multiple choice by default, yes. And if you remember, at the end of section one, I want my reader to have three options. So I have to add three. Those are, those are now just placeholders. I click on required so that the reader cannot move on without actually choosing anything. Then I click on the three dots and select go to section based on answer. And now I can map the options to the different sections. So if my reader chooses option one, they would be moving to section two. Then if they choose option two, they move to section three. And if they select option three, they go to section four. And I would do the same thing with all the other sections. You don't have to worry about this one down here because we have mapped all the options um, to the sections. But if you have an ending, for example, here, end one, end two, and end three, then you will have to select submit form for each ending. Submit form, submit form. And the last one is the form submission by default to end the story. So now that you know how to create a hypertext using a Google form, here are some ideas for activities or topics your students could work on. They could create their own adventure stories, but why limit the whole thing to writing? They could also include drama performances, animation, or film clips, upload that on YouTube, include that in the form, and then have the viewer decide how the drama performance is going to play out. In history or geography or language subjects, they could create a walk through a city, in chemistry, they could recreate an experiment and maybe include not so safe choices to make it more interesting. And in business studies, they could write about the decisions of a CEO, thinking about the effects of those decisions. If you want them to create a hierarchy or if you want them to classify information using increasingly precise questions, which means you start off with, a, with something general, you want them to narrow it down further and further until there is a precise end result, then here are some questions they might be working on. What plant or animal is it? Where should you go on vacation? Which book is for you? Which word would be more precise? Or which career should you choose? So now it's your turn to take your students on an adventure. Thank you for watching.